Hi, my name's Jonathan Hicks. I'm back at the Dice Cup, and this evening I'm joined by John, Michael, Mark, Chantal, A Bomb, Andy, Dave. <laughs> and we've all just finished playing Secret Hitler. Now, this is a social deduction game, a bit like uh, The Resistance or Avalon, something like that. Uh, so, you have two teams there's the Liberal teams and the Fascists. And you are voting, so one player is going to be the president, and they're going to elect somebody or nominate somebody to be the chancellor. So in this case, Chantal has just nominated a bomb to be the chancellor. And then all of us vote, so we kind of get these ya and nine cards for yes and no to vote on whether or not they're going to be um, elected. Uh, so everyone sort of picks the cards, and we sort of simultaneously reveal them, and uh, the majority dictates it. So if we say yes, uh, then a bomb becomes the chancellor. And Chantel picks three cards here, which are policies. Now, there might be liberal policies like this, or there might be fascist policies. And she gives two of... So, in this case, she had a choice. So, she's going to give two of these secretly to a bomb, And he then picks one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I discard that one. And, and reveals it. And the liberals are trying to get five liberal policies. You can see at the end of this game they've managed to win, while the fascists are trying to get uh, six, in fact, of those, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but a -bomb will say, oh, she passed me two fascist cards. I didn't have a choice. And she'll be like, no, no, I gave you a choice. Uh, each of us, if this isn't clear already, has a secret role. So you are either fascist, like I was in this game, or you might be a liberal. And one person, who was actually me as well, is Hitler. You have this secret role. So, obviously, you, as the Liberals, you're trying to um, elect other Liberals so that you get Liberal policies passed. But as the Fascists, you're trying to get the Fascists elected. And in the later stages of the game here, if you ever elect Hitler as the Chancellor, the Fascists automatically win the game. So you've really got to watch out for that, and Hitler's kind of hidden. I should say, at the start of the game, everyone closes their eyes and all the fascists get to see who each other are, and then Hitler sticks their thumb out, so they get to see who Hitler is, but Hitler doesn't know who any of the other people are. Um, and whoever gets the most, you know, the full complement of uh, cards out first is the winner. Uh, what do we think? Uh, I'll say this is probably my least favorite of the um, social deduction games like Allo Resistance and Avalon. I played mainly because it's got the um, mechanic from Dark Moon, I don't like, which is even if you're a good guy, you can't help passing bad things to another good person. And also, there's, as a basic liberal, there's so little information you can get com just because it's one person electing one other person rather than one person electing a team. So, yeah, it's at the bottom of a pile of uh, those type of games for me. Okay. Michael? Uh, yeah, it also has that element of one night, werewolf in it as well, that is um, interesting. But being a liberal means you've got very, very little information. It's all right, I'll certainly play it again, but it's not brilliant. Okay, Mark? Yeah, I think so. Right. I quite enjoy it, considering it's got no technical roles, like special abilities really going on. It's got, a lot of, it's got enough game there. So it's quicker to explain, and it's fun, and it works fine. Shanta? I think it's actually very easy to pick up, and for that reason, I actually like it. Also, I really love the design, so yeah, I, I really like this one. Okay, everyone? Yeah, I really like the game. <laughs> yeah, there's not all the secret roles or similar, but then it makes it easier to explain. Um, I like it as a change of pace for, say, an Avalon or a Resistance or One Night Werewolf. Yeah. Yeah, I like it too. Um, it's better than the base game Resistance, it, which is probably closest to. Um, but yeah, it's mm -hmm. sort of, sort of, I think I prefer Avalon. Um, it's very. This is much, much harder for the Liberals to win. Um, due to there being only five liberal cards, I believe. Um, uh, but yeah, it's still, it's, still, it's still a good game. I quite happily play this. Dave? Uh, I enjoy it. It's, uh, I haven't played that many social deduction uh, games, but um, I like it because it's short. Um, it's, uh, the theme works quite well. And um, yeah, it's just a uh, nice, simple game at, at the end of the night. Rating out of 10? Uh, seven and a half. Okay. Yeah, I'd give this a seven and a half as well. Yeah. I'd give it an eight, and one thing I'd say is there's a bit of controversy on the theme. Um, some people really dislike it because of that. I think, well, it's supposed to be a, just a game. I think it's still done tastefully, actually. And I, I well, I'm gonna say, I also really like how the powers are getting unlocked during the game. So that's quite interesting, I think, as a dynamic. And for that reason, I would give it as, as well an eight and a half. Oh, okay. We'll right. give it a seven. Six. Six. 
I was going to say five, but when I remembered something no one's touched on, but it's really confusing in the rules and with these cards, but who you can and can't elect, because you can't elect the previous Chancellor, but these move around so far. Four. Four? Oh, yeah. Five. Okay. Mechanically, I think it's really sound, and I probably prefer it, again, for speed of play to the other Avalon resistance types. I don't like the theme, though, uh, and that frustrates me a little bit because I kind of want to play this more, but then the theme's like, oh. <laughs> so I'd be on a 7 out of 10 myself. Uh, but if you don't mind the theme, I think it's well worth checking this one out if you like social deduction games. All right, thanks for watching. That was Secret Hitler.